Hey guys, we hope you've been enjoying the robot series. Now we've been getting a lot of questions, both email and online. So we wanted to offer some bonus content to you guys. Now, if you remember from the last episode, we had Boris from Pneumatic Engineering come out and demo the robot. Here's some footage from the entire interview. Hope it helps. Well, I have a wonderful electronic invention I want you to see. It, it looks something like this. All right guys, so this may look familiar. This was in the demo room at our distributor's office and they've brought it. Uh, Boris, why don't you come on over? Boris is a senior applications engineer with Pneumatic Engineering, the top guy. He's got all the answers. So Boris, thanks for joining us. Tell us, what are we looking at here? Absolutely. So here we have a complete package. We have the robot mm -hmm. on a mobile stand that has been custom designed by Pneumatic Engineering. Mm -hmm. The robot starts right here mm -hmm. and ends right at this point. Okay. At the end of arm tooling, we have a camera from Robotique, mm -hmm. which is a company in Quebec. Mm -hmm. This little slice right here is everything that there is with the camera. Okay, this, this section, about an inch worth, exactly. is the camera it's itself. It's a hockey puck, it okay. has the lens, it has the LED building uh, built in, uh -huh. and you have the cable that communicates back to the robot. Got it. Beyond that, we have the gripper uh -huh. that is also from Robotique. Everything okay. is connected seamlessly. That's okay. the beauty of this. It's all plug and play. Right. Okay. So, because right now I'm seeing just one connector that actually talks to two peripheral devices. Exactly. Okay. So the camera is designed with the connector built in, so uh -huh. it will talk to the gripper automatically. Okay. Got it. All right. And this is a servo-driven gripper. That's a servo-driven uh, gripper. Okay. You have uh, feedback, so you know exactly what you're grabbing, mm -hmm. how quickly you're grabbing, and you can even control the force. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So uh, last time I learned, you could pick up an egg or you could pick up a solid block of aluminum. Absolutely. Okay, that's really neat, so. Okay, and then I get this, this is the, the pendant, but I don't, this doesn't look familiar to me. Exactly. So Universal Robot is unique in the aspect that it has the ability to accept apps, just mm -hmm. like we have our smartphones. Okay. So once you install the hardware, you plug it in, you install the app, mm -hmm. everything automatically sees each other and talks to each other. Mm -hmm. You don't have two technologies interfering or conflicting. Okay. So they talk very seamlessly, okay. and there's a wizard here. You uh -huh. just use a stylus, you go right through each step, uh -huh. you teach the particular part that you're interested in, mm -hmm. and in this particular case, we have a robot that's just kind of looking at that part. Okay. It's gonna pick it up and place it somewhere around in this area. I see, okay. And if you notice, it just took a picture, uh -huh. it processed the X, Y, theta of the part. Okay. Robot goes down, approaches, picks, exits, and just drops it somewhere here. Got I'm it. gonna place it somewhere else, obviously. Okay. And you'll see that it will follow the part. Okay. So now the part presentation is mm -hmm. no longer rigid. Mm -hmm. You can just have parts randomly. Yes. As long as the camera can see it. Right, okay. So this solves a big problem that I had four years ago. Well, not a problem, um, but every part that I had, um, I did a, a, a plate with pins in it, and then I would put all these parts on it. And the robot, you know, it would just go to where I told it to go if a part were there or not. And right. so this uh, is so much more simple. I can just put the parts on. Now, is it a plane? Can I do stacks? What? You can do stacks, you can do planes, you can be at a different angle. It okay. doesn't have to be planar. Okay. So this alleviates all that pain. Oh. And the beauty is, right now we only have one part in the field of view, but you uh -huh. could have multiple parts. Okay. And the robot sees every single one at, at the okay. same time. So we work from a bin system, and when parts are in process, they're in blue bins. So I could literally load up a blue bin with, I think this may hold about uh, 16 or 20 parts, mm -hmm. and it would take a picture of the entire bin, yes. and, um, and then pick them, and like we might use this in a, in a lathe application, for example. This is one part that we definitely want to automate. Um, and so now, now we do multiple stacks in the bin. Mm -hmm. Do I tell it once you've picked 16 parts? Now you're on a different plane, or how does that work? Absolutely. So once the camera detects that there's not any parts left, uh -huh. it all automatically detects that, oh, we're done with this one level. So it will remove the plate okay. and execute the next oh, plate. Oh, nice. Okay. All right. Now, here's my other question. This is about the size of one of our pallets. Pallets are go on our, our pallet system. Um, I want it to pick up the part right in the middle of the pallet regardless of orientation or position. Is there a maximum range or size that this camera can hang, handle? Well, it depends on the size of the part. Mm -hmm. So if we're looking at 
really far distances, obviously we have a larger field of view. Okay. So we can have multiple parts. But mm -hmm. if you have a really small part, mm -hmm. some cameras may or may not see that. Okay. So it depends on the size of the part, the distance from the plate, mm -hmm. and all that. Okay, yeah. And it's possible to orient it, like if, if it were picking up a prismatic uh, part and it were twisted, it would go in and... Absolutely. It. Okay. So it actually finds the X, Y, and the theta of the part. Okay, all right. So this just goes into, what type of connector is it? So I this know? actually goes right in here. If you go on the other side, you'll sure. see. It goes into a USB hub. Okay. And then from here, we have the um, communication that goes to the camera. This goes to the robot, 24 volt power supply. Okay. We have the uh, UR caps in this USB here mm -hmm. and what they call the vision server in this little uh, key oh, here. Oh, I see. Okay. So this is just plug and play. Just plug it in, mm -hmm. 24 volts to any of the power supplies built in, oh. and you're done. Okay. All right. Very simple to attach. Yeah, very simple. Great. Comes out. So if the camera was not here, mm -hmm. the gripper used to have a base similar to this mm -hmm. that used to come back to the controller and this would plug in. Interesting. The new ones, because now on the E-Series you have serial communication here, uh -huh. there's just a cable that goes oh, right wow. there. So you have no more cable going back. Okay. If it was only the gripper. Right. Here, obviously, we have the camera, so yeah. it's still the old-fashioned way. Okay. All right. Because there's a lot more communication going on. Uh, so if I bought this camera, we would still need the cable? You would still need it. Uh -huh. They're probably working on the, the pigtail, so it just connects right there, because right. now there's more capability of this connection. Mm -hmm. right there. Okay. And then um, I'm guessing that the connection at the end of the camera looks similar to this? Yes. I've, okay, good. Yeah. They're that, all the 50 millimeter standard. Okay, all great. Products. All right. So the end effector vacuum gripper, I've, I just take it off, put the camera in, yep. put it back on. But I can't block vision. That's another thing I got to think yeah. about. You cannot block vision. So what you would need to do is you would need to offset your right. vacuum grippers, etc. And that's very easily handled here. You just put right. that in the TCP, everything is done. Okay, okay. Oh, someone commented on the YouTube video. Make sure you grab the latest Polyscope version. It's almost always worth using the latest version, 5.3.1, as of this writing. Mm -hmm. So, um, is does Universal Robots send updates? They don't send them updates. It's on their website. You can check as much as you like, and okay. you can update it as you wish. Okay. But if and you do get on their list, they will uh, in, uh, give you an information that it is. Available. So, so I could do that, and it's literally like just plug in a USB and. That's exactly what it is. You put it in a USB, uh -huh. you can either plug it in right here oh, nice. or inside the controller, okay. and you just go through the step, update, and it's done. Oh, it's easy. Okay. And is it noticeable, or are there just little bug fixes that I may little never Little bug run? fixes, as always. If it's working, uh -huh. leave it alone. Okay. If you need some more features that are being available in the future series, of uh -huh. course you're gonna have them. Okay, all right. Can you show me how to teach the camera the part? Absolutely. Okay. So let's say we do not have any part. I'm going to delete this right here. Okay. And we're going to go, there's a wizard right here. Uh-huh. And I'm just going to put a part in okay. the field of view. We're going to make sure we're at the right location mm -hmm. and we're going to say teach object. Okay. So the camera is going to go through a wizard. It says, are we looking at the camera? Yes, mm -hmm. we are. Mm -hmm. We're going to use the automatic method, which okay. is very easy to use. Okay. And it's going to take a picture and it's going to say, hey, I see something there. Okay. And it says, is that what you want to pick up? Wow. You see, it automatically knows what you want to do. Right. You say, yeah, that's pretty good. Uh -huh. We're going to say it okay. And it's going to take more images uh -huh. automatically. As you can see, it's thinking about it. Okay. And it gives you a highlighted huh. image. And you can go in and say, you know, Sometimes we don't have these little dimples, or okay. sometimes we don't have some curvature in there. Uh -huh. So you can add or subtract from there. So okay. we're gonna say you're pretty good for now. Okay. Now it still looks pretty blurry, but it's just locating the profile. Exactly, we're okay. just looking at the outer edges at okay. this point. All right. You can get uh, much more accurate. Okay. And then if this part was not circular, uh -huh. if it had, let's say, uh, symmetry, okay. you could actually rotate it 90 degrees four times and it would learn it. Okay. So in this case, we don't need to rotate it because it's circular. Right. I'm just going to go through the four poses. Mm -hmm. Oh, you would you would rotate it exactly. and say take another photo. So you say, hey, camera, look at the part at different angles so you can learn all the Got it. Okay. different variations. Mm -hmm. The circular parts are a little bit easier because obviously there's no mm -hmm. distinction from any angle. So I can tell it's just processing. It's doing that. It's yeah. it's still in refining the, the photo that it takes, it looks like. 
And so how do you know where to place the robot to do this process? Is it like 24 inches something? It just depends on how many parts you want to pick up okay. and what your physical real estate looks like. Oh, okay. All right. Now what it's going to do is going to say robot will move automatically. Okay. This is the beauty of it. You just say, okay, robot, uh -huh. I taught you the part. Okay. Knock yourself out. I okay. want you to take a picture. And as you can see, hands-free, yeah. the robot is taking images from all different angles okay. so you can find the part right. every single time. Mm -hmm. Wow, it's, it's going to take nine of them. Okay. Nine of them. Wow. And, and this only has to happen once. Okay. For every part you do, you just do it once and that's it. So because we make, you know, I think a thousand of these per run, um, we only need to set it up once. And then when we start the next batch in four months of another thousand, we save all the camera data. Absolutely. That information is retained okay. in the robot. Okay. All right. And the camera. Right. Okay. Wow. So I see on this that it has green lines and red lines. What are some of those? Th those so the green lines are the features that it's looking at. Okay. So it says, hey, I see the outer circumference and I see all the circumferences of each of those six, seven, eight, nine, ten holes, for example. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you can remove those as need be. Okay. You can say, I only care about the outside. I see. Maybe the inside changes, mm -hmm. but it's still the same part. Got it. All right. In and this case, we're keeping it generic. And the red lines? The red lines are giving you uh, orientation. Oh, okay. All right. So we saw that. Mm -hmm. It says we're good. Okay. And we're going to set a model now. Okay. Because the camera doesn't know what kind of gripper or end effector is on there, mm -hmm. now we have to teach the camera what is on here. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to show you how simple that is. Okay. We're going to take a picture of a known location. Mm -hmm. So it says, okay, right now, that's what I see. Mm -hmm. We say download into the robot. Mm -hmm. That's what we see. We're going to save it. Mm -hmm. So now the camera knows where the part is. Now we're going to teach where the gripper is going to pick it up. Okay. So we're going to use an approach point. I'm mm -hmm. going to say set this way point. Mm -hmm. And everybody loves the free drive. I'm just going to press the button here. Mm -hmm. And we're going to go approximately above the part. Okay. Maybe adjust this a little bit. We'll slow this down. Let's see, we'll go that way. And I think we're good right there. All right. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to teach the pick point, mm -hmm. which is a little bit below. And at this point, I can close the gripper to mm -hmm. make sure we are grabbing it properly, okay. which we are. And I'm going to teach that. Exit position, which is after you grab the part, mm -hmm. we're going to go up. Mm -hmm. And the other two positions we don't have to change because those are not mm -hmm. in the camera reference frame. Okay. Now, we taught the position relative to where we're picking up. Okay. And if you notice the move command, uh -huh. it says, I don't want you to look at the robot coordinate mm -hmm. system. I want you to look at the camera mm -hmm. coordinate system. Okay. That's where the magic is. Yeah, happening. right. That's a big deal right there. That's a big deal. Yeah. And we didn't have to know anything about IP addresses, coordinate transformations, yeah. trigonometry, geometry. Right. It was all done with this right. stylus. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because um, four years ago, Cameras and systems were available, but it's Modbus, Nio, and all this stuff. I'm like, that, much more that's way too much for me right now. So uh, this is easy. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So what we did today was called coordinate transformation. Okay. The robot says, I know my X, Y, Z. Uh -huh. The camera is somewhere else, X, right. Y, Z. Okay. How do they talk to each other? Imagine me and you are trying to decide how to pick up this, right? Uh -huh. And uh -huh. we're blind, we don't see each other. Uh -huh. So that is called coordinate transformation. I have to tell you, hey, you're so far away from me in the X and the Y at this angle. Okay. 20 years ago, it would take about two days to set this up. Uh -huh. 10 years ago, maybe half a day. Okay. Five years ago, three hours. Okay. Nowadays, minutes. Yeah, right. So the evolution of technology is truly advancing for right. robotics. Right, right. No, that's fantastic. Yeah, that's, you know, when I sold my original UR10, I knew I would come back. And I knew the, the, the company was growing so fast, that technology was being adopted. I knew it's only gonna get better. So I am so glad that I'm doing this now. And it's not done. I went on the, the UR, uh, Universal Robots site and there's pages and pages of, of all these suppliers that sell these types of things. I was blown away. You know? Absolutely. So, Just like a, a smartphone, uh -huh. um, there are multiple companies that are making it products and applications for a smartphone. Right. The smartphone doesn't make anything extra. They make the phone, they put it out there, yeah. everybody starts adding things right. to it. So Universal Robot is pretty similar to yeah. that. Yeah, okay, I love it. All right, 
Well, Boris, I think you've answered all my questions and I'm definitely sold on this camera. I just need to contact my sales guy, Rami, and let him know I'm gonna buy one. Thanks Absolutely. for your time. My pleasure. You bet. You. All right. Hey guys, I hope that was informative to you. So right here is a card to the entire Robot Series playlist. And if you haven't already done so, here's a link to subscribe. So you got a few options. You should like click there. Better if you click there. And then once you click there, notify button, you know, all that stuff. So a couple options.